Let's look at a different uh, ray diagram for a concave mirror. In the first one, we found a real image because we could draw the three rays and they all met. This is going to give us a different type of image. In this case, here's the focal length, here's the focus, here's the center of curvature, here's our vertex, here's our mirror. The object is between the focus and the vertex, so it's very close to the mirror. So I'm going to see what kind of image I get. So I'm going to use two of my three rays. I'm going to use the parallel ray. That one hits the mirror. It runs parallel to the axis, hits the mirror, and reflects through the focus. So it's going to go this way. Parallel, hits the mirror, goes through the focus, which is over here. The second ray goes through the focus and reflects, reflects parallel. So this is parallel, reflects through the focus. The other one is, goes through the focus, reflects parallel. But the focus is over here. So I have to do this in a kind of weird way. The light ray has to go through the focus. So I put my ruler, so the top of my object and this ruler go through that focus. So it's as if the light ray is going that way. But what I do is I make the light ray continue on this way towards the mirror. So the light ray is hitting the mirror, and it's kind of going through the focus, because if you trace it back, it goes through the focus here. So the light ray that is going through the focus hits the mirror and reflects parallel. Well, these two rays don't meet. The focal ray goes there, it goes parallel. The parallel ray goes here, it goes through the focus. They don't actually meet. What I need to do is trace them onto the other side of the mirror. It's kind of like they do join up way over here. If I trace them like this, if I continue to trace them all the way over to here, they do meet. They meet way over here. They don't actually meet, so this is not going to be a real image. So I've got to extend my line here so I can draw this. Okay, I drew my two rays. I followed them back on this side since they didn't meet on this side. And here's where they meet. So that must be my image. The rays didn't actually meet, so it's a virtual image. I need to describe sometimes these properties, depending on what your teacher wants. Orientation is upright or invert. This arrow, my object, this is the height of the object. That object is upright. The image is upright, so it's the same orientation. My orientation is upright. Size, it's definitely bigger. Location, it's on the opposite side of the mirror. So if I look in the mirror, it looks like I'm seeing this big thing. That's what this means. This is the object. If I put that object in front of a mirror like this, it's going to look in the mirror like it's really big. Location, behind the mirror. Type, we said it was virtual because the rays didn't actually meet. And the magnification, I'd measure this. I measure this, height, height of image over height of object, calculate the magnification, it's going to be greater than 1.